Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We just thought we would take a few moments and reflect on all God's done in 2022. And knowing that 2023 is a new year and with a new year, Linda, what do you think God's saying for 2023? Well, I really believe that God wants his people to really know who they are with their purpose, with the vision that God has for their life, and and just knowing who they are and who God is too. Because if you know who you are, you're going to live differently. You're going to live victoriously. You're going to live and do things with purpose and intention. So good. You know, Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 10 says that we're saved by grace through faith. Mm-hmm. And it's not of ourselves, but it's a, it's a gift from God for we're created in his image to do good works. What excites me when I read a verse like that is that we're created to do good works that we should walk in them, but it's not of ourselves, it's God. Weeks ago, we talked on uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, where we have the ability to be partakers of the divine nature. Yeah, that that's wild. To me, that blows my mind because, you know, we have God living on the inside of us. And, and in that scripture, it actually says, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, partaking of the divine nature actually means that sin has no more power Come over on. you. Only if you let it, only if you yield to it. But if you yield to the Holy Spirit, then you are going to have the fruits of the Spirit manifesting in your life and letting your spirit be the boss, not your soul true we just talked about that last Sunday and really that is the signpost of the divine nature operating in someone's life we see the fruit and the Bible talks about it in Galatians chapter 5 I think it is where it's love joy peace patience goodness kindness gentleness self-control you know the big big one for me and many people hear me say it all the time is joy that's the one that i'm looking for is joy manifesting in my own life that that's an inside job it's not based on external circumstances but it's no. based on the reality that someone has paid a price for me which of course is jesus has allowed me access to that holy of holies yes you know in old testament times the priest had to do all these sacrifices in different legal things to try to fulfill legal requirements to appease a holy God. But then Jesus came perfect, fulfilled it. And now we can enter that holiest of holies anytime. What an amazing privilege. Sometimes I I marvel at scripture. You know, it it says that word sella, you know, for 2023, maybe we need to sella, just pause for a moment and think about access to the divine nature. Think about, behold, I have made all things new. His mercy is new every Every morning. morning. Yes. Great is your faithfulness. And you think about too, that the joy that's inside us, Jesus lives inside us. And the joy that is inside us actually gives us strength. So those times when we're feeling like tired or exhausted of of all the stuff that comes at us. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And in James, it talks about count it all joy when you go through trials Mm -hmm. and tribulations. And that's, that's not an easy verse (laughs) to take. Okay. But let me tell you, yeah, it's his strength in you. So it's like yielding to the spirit of God and allowing his spirit to rise up, rise up. Oh, children of God, rise up. Up, O body of Christ, and let the Lord shine through you. Let him give you joy in the midst of turmoil and struggle, because he can do it. That's supernatural. Romans chapter 6 actually talks about that we have been, that old person was buried through, know, through baptism, <laughs> and we have been raised in newness of life. I mean, Romans 12 talks about being transformed yes. by the renewing of our mind. So it's, it's really a, it's a, a, the, the way that we are processing life. Are we going to process life out of the divine nature, out of that ability we have to, through the word, through connecting with the spirit of God. And one of the greatest ways, if you're concerned, well, how do I connect with the spirit of God? One of the greatest ways is literally by picking up your Bible 
and starting to read that word because John 1 says that he is the word. Jesus is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So when you combine that with a community of like-minded believers that are exhibiting the fruit of the Spirit, change is inevitable. If you have trouble sometimes, some people have trouble reading the word. Let me tell you, if you've got a, an instrument or something True. or your voice, start singing and praising God. Mm. Take the Psalms and sing from them and you will see an inner change that will happen on the inside of you. And it will actually um, come out on the outside and people go, what happened to you? You know? So, so good. So good. And, and you know, it's, it's really good what what God wants to do because he really wants his people to experience him this year greater than they've ever had before encounters with him he has so much all of heaven is at our disposal and he wants to see heaven come to earth he wants to see all those things happen in the earth on earth as it is in heaven like the lord's prayer said he wants to pour out his goodness on you he wants to show you where maybe the enemy might be uh, causing a problem over here and how you're supposed to combat it because we're actually a family of god but we're also the army of god and the army of god he wants us strong be strong in the lord and in the power of his might you have the might the might of God living on the inside of you. So you just have to learn how to release that. And I really believe that 2023, God is going to release more and more and more to his people. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? It will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So why don't you just partner with us right now, as soon as this broadcast ends and just sell it, take a moment, think about that, that God has done a new thing. He does want to make rivers in the wilderness yes. or in the desert in your life. Receive that gift of his presence. Receive that truth that Jesus is the Lord of all, as long as we give him access to our lives. So Lord, we just thank you for your presence on this broadcast and that you are reaching through the camera and touching every single person who's watching. And Lord, I pray that they would feel the nearness that you desire them to feel with you. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, for opening up the things of heaven to them, opening up the word of God and making it alive, opening up every part that seems to be shut so that they can be all that you created them to be. I thank you for releasing the truth of who they are and who you are, which is amazing.